I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on quadrilaterals. Now we will try to understand how to classify quadrilaterals that is two dimensional figures with four sides based on their sides. Here are a few names which we use for these four sided figures square, rectangle, parallelogram, rhombus, kite and trapezoid. So these are all very special four-sided figures or quadrilaterals. So let's talk about them one by one. When I say square, what I mean is a four-sided figure where all the four sides have same length and they are at right angles. So all the four sides are equal and they are at right angles. That also means that all of them are parallel also, correct? Now when we talk about a rectangle, in that case, it becomes kind of like this. Two opposite pairs are parallel and equal in length. So now what we see is that two sides are equal, right? And as in the previous case, we do have these lines intersecting at 90 degrees. Also, we notice that opposite sides are parallel. Okay. So a square can also be classified as a rectangle, a very special rectangle in which all sides are equal. Perfect. Now, when we move to parallelograms, we talk about a two-dimensional figures where opposite pairs are parallel, but they do not intersect at 90 degrees. Right? So, we do have two pairs of parallel sides as we have in rectangle and n square, but we don't have 90 degrees intersecting angles. So, you could consider square, rectangle also as a parallelogram, right? Since they do have two sets of parallel sides. They are special since they have 90 degrees also. Whereas in parallelogram, it could be any angle, not specifically 90 degrees. Now, let's talk about rhombus. In the case of rhombus, it is more like a square but not intersecting at 90 degrees and as you can see it is also a parallelogram now in the case of a rhombus all sides are equal just as we had in the case of a square however we don't have 90 degree angles that makes huge difference diagonals are not of the same length as they were here right but they do intersect at 90 degrees, which we'll learn in another part of the video. Now let's look into kite. This is a very special quadrilateral, which looks like a diamond. But to be very specific, the sides all may not be equal, right? Normally, we'll have one pair of adjacent sides these are together right they are same so that forms a kite in case of a trapezoid we have one pair of parallel sides we may or may not have 90 degree angles between intersecting lines but definitely, we'll have at least, I should say, one pair of parallel sides. So that becomes a trapezoid. So these are the different quadrilaterals which we are talking about. Now, can you make a Venn diagram to represent them all based on their sides? Think about it. So, as an exercise, I would like you to make a Venn diagram.
So you can actually pause the video, make a Venn diagram illustrating these properties of quadrilaterals based on their sides. Okay. So what we could think about is something like this. Let us say here we have all the quadrilaterals. So this is set of quadrilaterals. In this set of quadrilaterals, we have one set where the sides meet at right angles, correct? And we have one set where two opposite pairs are parallel. So let's consider these four together. So what we could do here is that we can make a big set group. And in this group, we are looking for the characteristics, which is two pairs of parallel sides. So if I'm talking about two pairs of parallel sides, then what do we have? Well, we have this whole group where we have two pairs of parallel sides. Do you see that? So all of them have two pairs of parallel sides. You can say a parallelogram, rhombus, square or rectangle all fit into this particular category. However, we have something special about rectangles and squares they intersect at 90 degrees so we have something special about rectangles and squares let me call rectangle let me write down here rectangle and let me write square and uh, we have this uh, rhombus they have equal sides okay so what we could do here is we could categorize it further into a group saying we have square and rectangle which have 90 degrees. Do you see that? And we also have a group which has rhombus and squares where we have equal sides. So here we have equal sides. Perfect. Well, parallelograms we could keep outside this particular group, right? So we could say, well, we do have four equal sides, and eh, I mean four parallel sides, but parallelograms will come here. Does it make sense? So, all these quadrilaterals will have two pairs of parallel sides. Rectangles and squares, their sides intersect at 90 degrees. Rhombus and squares have four equal sides. Do you see that part? So that is how we could categorize these elements or the quadrilaterals. How do we do for these two? Well, we could say trapezoids have one pair of sides, correct? And kite has no pair of sides parallel, right? So, so we could say kite is outside, which has no pair of sides parallel, right? However, we could have another group here where we could place trapezoid which has one pair 
parallel side. Correct. So, based on sides, we could actually classify the quadrilaterals as shown here. You see that part. So, it's easy to remember. Once you look at this picture, it's kind of easy to remember how to classify quadrilaterals based on sides. Now, in the next video, we'll talk about diagonals. That is to say, what happens when I connect the opposite ends? So, if I do that, these diagonals, do they intersect at 90 degrees? Are they equal or not? So, that will be part of our next video. I hope you find it interesting and useful. For the time being, you can think about diagonals and then make a Venn diagram like this. You will notice that these diagonals, three of them, intersect at 90 degrees. Correct? Others don't. And you'll notice some more properties. They bisect or they don't. So those are the properties which we'll look into the next part of the video. I hope it makes sense. Knowing about quadrilaterals at this stage is extremely useful. If you find it interesting and useful, please share your comments and share my videos with your friends. Thanks for watching and all the best.